Hi, this is Dr. Bruno Chikli from the Chikli Health Institute. We're having a brand level 4 class and I wanted to show you a, a technique we did uh, during the demonstration yesterday. Dina, what happened yesterday? Um, I had an injury about three and a half years ago and had a uh, concussion, post-concussion syndrome. And since that time, I, had, I would get pain across my back, into my arm, my neck, into my face and head and we'd break out in a sweat and my heart rate would go up every time I'd go to, basically every time I'd turn my head or try to lay, lift my arm. And after yesterday's session, I can move my head and neck. And it's, it's a little tight, but I can move. I can lift my arm up and I don't, I, I don't get a headache and I feel good. Great, so let me show you what we did. In the class, and we're working on the trigeminal nerve which is the longest uh, nuclei, which has the longest nuclei in um, the central nervous system. And I was explaining the different part of the sensory nucleus of the cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve. We have three parts. And let me show you, we have to get a reference. We start with the ion, the external occipital protuberance is there to find it from inferior to superior and we have to be a bit lateral because the sensory nuclei are fairly lateral in the brainstem. At the level of inion we have about the pontine part of the nuclear, nuclei of five and a little bit inferior to it you have the spinal part of the nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. This um, caudal part, this inferior part, is responsible for pain, temperature, and some touch. So I'm going to go to the upper part of the spinal aspect of the nucleus of the uh, cranial nerve 5. And to find it more specifically, I'm going to ask Dina here to touch her upper lip. And we're going to find the part right there. It's called the part oralis. The spinal nucleus has three parts, from superior to inferior. The part oralis, then interpolaris, and then the most inferior part, the part caudalis. So I'm in the oralis part here, and on her left, there's a, a, a hyperactivity on this nuclei and I want to write on it right there and I completely match the quality of this part of the nuclei on the left and right there as you can see she still shakes a little bit there's still a little bit of sympathetic activation and I just stay there to let the body down regulate for just a few minutes, and that's all I did. I was specific with my location, with my touch. I was in the oralis part of the spinal nucleus, part of cranial nerve 5. And that's to do with pain and temperature. She described something that was uh, going on in her face, pain and sweat, and just down-regulating, bringing this nucleus to neutral, as the osteopaths uh, say, did the job. So she's releasing hyper-sympathetic tone, hyper-sympathetic activation she has, that she was probably carried for three, three and a half years and bring that to a better threshold will just help her to come back to better health. So I'm going to continue with Dina, but thank you and hopefully we'll see you at one of our class. Thank you.